During tough times, what we often need most is support. News 8 Now's Emily Haugen spoke with a group connecting incarcerated people with something greater than themselves. Amy, there are groups throughout the region working to help incarcerated people move forward. The La Crosse Jail Ministry is one of those organizations hoping to build a better future for everyone. Ann Wales knows loss. You know, I've had people show up for me in my life. She uses what she knows in her work as a chaplain. I want to show up for um, them during probably one of the worst possible times in their life. In the La Crosse County Jail, Wales's work is built on connection. They can tell me things and they can pour out their hearts when they're feeling bad about their actions. And if I can help them through that process, it's a, it's a gift to me. And connecting people to faith leaders. I find guys who are at their end, that they are willing to change um, in addiction, in criminalities, um, basically breaking the cycle of incarceration. Um, and uh, I find him help. Dean Chekovich once walked in the shoes of those he's helping. I knew I had to give back. And that started with a minister, uh, Jack Sabota, come to visit me in the La Crosse County Jail in 2012. And he spoke a word of encouragement over me. He saw something in me that I never saw. For Dean, faith and the jail ministry is what brought him home. Fear ran my life for 40 years, and the faith is the opposite. And every time I use faith, uh, fear disappears. Wales hopes every incarcerated person has a similar experience. They've met them here, and so then they figure that they'll be welcomed when they go. An experience that could help everyone. If they take those steps to change their lives, it's a win for them, it's a win for their families, it's a win for their our community. A purpose inspired behind the walls of the La Crosse County Jail. And the jail ministry serves people of all faiths, and Wales tells me some of its funding comes from the La Crosse County budget. The rest is donation-based, and they take monetary donations, but also items for activities, mm -hmm. comfort items, and clothing for people upon release. All right. Thank you, Emily. Mm -hmm. If you would like to donate to the jail ministry, we posted more information um, on our website. You'll find a link to their website there.